Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. In this video, we are going to turn a Linux Mint PC into a guest kiosk for your business. The kiosk will automatically log in and start up a web page that you have specified. The video got requested several times in the comments, and we aim to please. So thank you for the interaction. Before we get started, I do have a request for your feedback. No worries, I'm not going to ask you for a like, subscribe or bell notification. I have never ever did that on this channel and let's keep it that way. In the various videos up until this point, I've shown a good amount of commands from the terminal or the command line. But I got some feedback recently in the comments, just one time so far, but it might be true for others without me knowing, that for people new to Linux, this might be not what they expected. The reason I went for this approach is because it is just easier to mimic or replicate and it will work independently of the desktop manager used. For example, the terminal commands will work for Cinnamon, XFCE and Mata editions of Linux Mint. But when I show it graphically, it will be different per desktop manager or environment used. Also, just about everything can be done from a terminal and especially when there are things that are just not implemented in the graphical user interface yet or might never will be. In this particular video, there is no terminal or command line and everything will be done graphically. Anyway, so my request is, I suppose, if you can please let me know what you think so I can get a feel for your opinions out there and it will enable me to deliver you the best content going forward. Thank you for your kind attention and now let's get on with the video. Here we have a freshly installed version of Linux Mint on a machine that I'm going to use for my kiosk. I've selected a machine name of Kiosk PC. At the moment there is just one user account and that's the account specified during the installation. We will keep this user for administrative maintenance of the kiosk. So let's log in. I've opted for Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition, and in this case it is version 22.1, also called Linux Mint Xia. But what I'm going to show here should work for versions to come without any issues. First, let's add a user account for the kiosk user. From the menu, click Administration, and then Users and Groups, and Authenticate when needed. Click Add and leave the account type to standard because we don't want the kiosk user to have any administrative privileges. Provide a full name and the actual username kiosk user. Click add and now set the password, click the kiosk user and click no password set. Provide the new password twice and click Change. You can now close the Users and Groups dialog. This is just an example of what I've explained and asked your feedback about in the beginning of this video, because from the terminal, this would just have been one single command, and that command would have worked for all Linux Mint versions out there. Doing it from the graphical interface might be easier to follow, but it can be slower and different per version of Linux Mint. As always, I suppose it all depends on circumstances, situations, and your comfort level. Now let's test the new user, log out, or switch user accounts. You will find the new kiosk user listed. Click it and provide the password. And because this is the first login, the welcome dialog will appear. Deselect Show this dialog at startup. Also, adjust the display resolution if you would like to. To make it visually clear that we are logged in as the kiosk user, at least at this point, later on we will no longer see the desktop, I will change the desktop background. Now that we have the kiosk user, we want to automatically start a browser upon login that will load a dedicated web page. We start simple and we build this from there. You will find that on Linux Mint Cinnamon, the Firefox web browser is installed by default. 
from the menu, select preferences, and then startup applications. Here we are going to add the auto start of the web browser. But before we do, let's remove the update manager from this list because this is not something we want the kiosk user to be bothered with. System updates can be done via the existing administrative user account, but not for the kiosk user. Select it and click the minus button. Now to add the auto start of Firefox, select the plus button and select choose application. Simply type Firefox and select Firefox web browser and click add application. Almost there, we need to add some customization. Select the Firefox web browser entry, if not selected already, and click the pencil button. I will change the name and the comment. And if you want, you can also add a startup delay. Now in the command field, type Firefox, dash dash kiosk, and then the URL that you want to start automatically. The dash dash kiosk flag in the web browser is used to launch the browser in kiosk mode, which means that the browser will be started full screen, so there will be no user interface of the browser visible. There will be no address bar, no tabs, no bookmarks, no menus, no scroll bars, and no window controls like minimize, maximize, and close. The kiosk mode is designed for public displays like kiosk terminals at airports, workshops, or public buildings. Once done, click save. Now you can test the Firefox auto start without actually having to lock off and then back in. Just click the play button. Of course, because this is the first time Firefox is started and this website is loaded, you can expect some one-time options and dialogues to deal with. But here it is, the web page is loaded in Firefox in kiosk mode. Now let's try the actual log off and then log in. Type Alt and F4 or Ctrl plus W to close the application or all the tabs until Firefox closes and you return to the desktop. Close the dialog and log off and back in. Again, more one-time dialog boxes to close, but you are getting there. One more time. And there we are. When the kiosk user logs in, Firefox starts in full screen kiosk mode and the web page is loaded. Now to do the same for Chromium or Google Chrome, but let's use Chromium today. I hear you ask. Close Firefox and open the software manager. Search for Chromium and install it. Of course, you will now have to provide the password of the administrative user. After it is installed, let's start it until there are no more one-time dialogues to deal with. To start Chromium instead of Firefox, follow almost the same steps as before. From the menu, select Preferences and then Startup Applications and remove the Firefox entry. Now add Chromium and do exactly the same as before. Chromium even has the same desk desk kiosk option, just like Firefox. And once again, test the entry. And test the auto start upon login of the kiosk user.
So at this point, we have a kiosk user that upon login will automatically start the web browser in kiosk mode. Time to take it a step further. Now let's say this is a kiosk in a public store, a workshop, a building or similar, and you don't want to have to provide that password. You want to start the Linux Mint PC in the morning and it should automatically log in the kiosk user. For this to work, from the menu, click administration, login window, and when needed, provide the administrative password. From this menu, the entire login screen can be customized, but for now, click the users tab. Disable allow manual login if this is enabled. And in the section automatic login, fill in the name of the user that you want to be logged into the system automatically when the system starts. In this case, the kiosk user. If you want, you can also specify a delay before it logs in automatically. And in that case, you will see the login screen while waiting for the timeout. And you can log in automatically at any time by clicking the login button. As indicated at the bottom, a restart is required for this to work. So now close the window and restart the machine. After the restart, the kiosk user is logged in, but as you noticed, it will continue to ask for a so-called keyring password. This happens because the keyring daemon expects the user's login password to unlock the default keyring. But in outer login, no password is entered, so the keyring doesn't unlock automatically. There are multiple ways to deal with this, but because this is a kiosk user and security is less of a concern, let's go for a blank keyring password. Provide the password of the kiosk user and it will auto start Chromium like we configured earlier. Close it and from the menu search for password and keys and then click it. Right click login on the left hand side and select change password. Provide the current password for the kiosk user, here described as the old password, and click continue. Now leave both password fields completely empty and click continue again. You can read the warning, but you will accept the risk in the current setup and click continue a final time. Now going forward, the system shouldn't ask for the keyring password any longer. Now reboot a final time to test everything from start to finish. And there you have it. A kiosk user that automatically logs on and start a web page in the web browser of your choice. Now this could be all you need, but of course you will have noticed that you can still switch applications, open a terminal, Ctrl Alt and T, or close the web browser to get back to the desktop. And of course we can do better, because the topic of the next video will be to further lock down this kiosk user and to provide more browser related options so that the user will be unable to leave the browser, execute any commands, open any other websites, or do anything at all besides visiting that specific web page that you have selected for them. We will even go so far as to not load Cinnamon at all, but just the browser in a restricted environment. Once that video is available, it will be linked here and in the video description for your convenience. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye.